How's it feel? Uh, you know, I'm just happy for the seniors and uh, all, all the kids that played a part of it that I know have worked extremely hard. You know, the 5.30 lift into the morning, the 6 a.m., you know, carrying the sled around, dragging the sled around the parking lot. Um, you know, and just all the hard work they put in. And, um, so just very, very proud of them and very, very happy for them. What kind of pressure did the senior class kind of have coming in, you know, as a young team and with the yeah. expectations so high? You know, I think, um, you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully it was wasn't that? I mean, I think they took ownership of it early, um, and you know the pressures. You know, you can all you can control is what you can do in each day, and I think that's what they focused on. Is and we talk about if you want to be great, be great in November. But to be great in November, you better be good, and you know, better be great in September, October. And they practice well. They, they get after it. They're great young men, and they're very, very proud of them. Talk about Mike Donovan's game. I mean, I love the <laughs> Just, I mean, prototypical. You know, I, I say this with all endearing. He's Blue collar football player, and, you know, and, and, and jack of all trades. You know, I mean, he can do anything: catch, run, block, kick, tackle, you know, interceptions. I mean, he kick, punt. I mean, the guy's a phenomenal football player, and uh, he'll do anything you ask him to do. Could you even envision a better game from him? I mean, offensively, defensively, special teams. You know, with Mike, like I said, I mean, we, he does it all. He's done it all for us all year. We needed a big play offensively, whether it's running, catching, or creating a turnover on defense. I mean, he was the guy that was always there, and. Um, you know, coach's dream. As a coach, I mean, I ask the players, like, how do they feel when they run off the field? What do you feel when you see, like, number 24 and 12 and all those guys walk off the field for the final time? You know, I, I, it's, I, I, there's certain parts of the game I actually get a little emotional. Because, um, you know, one, as a player, I'm going to be selfish here. I never got to play up here. Uh, never got to experience it, and I hope they truly treasure it and enjoy it. And uh, you know, like I said, I'm a coattail guy here. I get to, I get to ride along with these guys and, and um, just be a part of it. So it's been a, it's a great thrill for me, and I, and, and I truly know how hard they've worked and prepared. Um, and you know, when you do that, it's pretty awesome when you, when you get rewarded for it. Putting the uh, is that why it was so important? Kind of put the young guys into. I know Mike said that it's really great to see them kind of go and kind of experience yeah and you know that's the other great thing about this community is is that you know the seniors really do kind of help the freshmen and sophomores along and, and, and they understand that that moment is you know hopefully now they get a taste for it and they want to come back next year and try to try to, to be the, the, the starter on that team that helps his team win so uh, it's a great great camaraderie among the guys